second down and long. James down with a football. Looks like Sisson wants to change the play at the line. Empty backfield. No Kinsey back there with Sisson. Sisson on a straight drop. Fires over the middle. He's got him in. Panamianco at midfield. 45 40, 35 30. Racing to the corner. Sorry. He's got one man to beat. And that one man, does he catch him? No. Touchdown, James Down. Two plays, 80 yards, six points. That's what I'm talking about. Sisson looks to the sideline, gets the signal, changes the play, goes to the line. Howling works in the backfield. Here's the straight drop. Sisson, he's got time, he's got time, he's got time. Now he rolls and he breaks out. Stays on his feet. He'll stay on his feet. He's into the open field. He's got the first down. He's at the 35 and finally tripped up inside the 30. What an amazing run from Jake Sisson. I thought he was down for the count on a sack. Broke three tackles and flushed it all the way down to the 28-yard line. Talk about making plays. First and 10, Red Raiders at the 31. Sisson on a rollout, bootleg keeper. He's at the 25, the 20, cuts it up, 15, 10, trying to walk it in. Touchdown, Jake Sisson. 31 yards to pay dirt. Red Raiders up by two touchdowns, 13 to nothing. 8.59 left to go before intermission. This is Ralph Wilson Stadium. It's the big house, and it's the big game with the bright lights. The double-A final. Second and 10 on the incompletion. James down at the Frontier 46. Just an out of the gun. Alex, Daquan Hollingsworth in the backfield. Straight drop, Sisson fires to a man over the middle. It's Peter B. Echo at the 25, 20, 10. Forget about it. Touchdown, Zach Panamianco. Jamestown has a nice lead. I wouldn't call it cozy. It's 21 to nothing, but every time Frontier touches the football coach, I get the feeling that they could score. They haven't, but this is a talented football team, especially on the defensive side of the football. The problem is, you know, against a, a more mortal team, Frontier, you know, would would be a favorite, really, because it's a, they're a solid football team. It's just that Jamestown offense is like no high school offense I have ever seen in my life, ever. And, this, this, and I'm talking about 98 Maple Grove and it, even those teams that were so prolific. This one is, and it's a double A, too, which, you know, you, you, these are the large schools, so there's more kids to pick from, and you're bound to find these large schools, you know, four, at least four talented athletic kids that can play defensive back. And, and uh, Jake Sisson is, is all through the season has just put on a clinic along with his, his four wideouts in, in uh, Panabianco and Larson and Park and, and Carlson. It's been uh, just a bunch of fun to watch this year. Jamestown offense is just, it's like nothing you normally see in a, in a high school football offense. You just don't see something this, this intense, this precise, this fast, and certainly not this for So this is now 33, uh, 32 passing touchdowns to go along with, uh, my, my says 19 rushing touchdowns. I thought I heard you say 20, but... It, it, in any case. Well, he scored one tonight rushing, though. I have, so I have him for 19 20. coming in. Yeah, okay, now, now 20 total. So, yeah. this is certainly has to be a, uh, I, I, I don't know, if you don't give it to the Connolly Cup to Jake Sisson, I mean, you, who would you give it to? <laughs> who, me. Who, who, who you can give it to me. Well, you can give it to Bill Race. Uh, I'll one. take James Down, second and three at the Frontier Five. Sisson out of the gun, trips to the left. It'll be Sisson up the middle on a carry, trying to get it in. I think he's in. He is. Touchdown, he's in. Jamestown. Jake Sisson hammers it into the end zone. Another six points for the Red Raiders. Sisson calls for the snap. Straight drop. Here comes a little pressure. Throws over the middle. He's got Brian Park. 40, 50, 45, 40. Couple guys in. Trying to catch him. 20, 15, 10. Do they get him? Oh, I think he just got in at the pylon. Nope, they're going to call him out of bounds on the one. Park almost gets in. What would that have been? That would have been 84 yards. Instead, he goes 83. <laughs> so it'll be Sisson out of the gun here on first and goal at the one. Sisson will keep it himself, and he walks it in. 
Touchdown, Jamestown. Put an exclamation on that point. Get your phone out. Call the Rochester Hotel and make your reservations. We're going to the regional. Aquinas. Aquinas next on the radar. This is unofficial here, but by count, when I'm looking at the stat sheet that they just dropped off at our booth, uh, I have three records broken here for the Red Raiders. The receiving was Zach Panabianco, total receiving yards for a game. The previous record was 167 That's back in the 80s. And uh, Panabianco had 181 in the first half alone, although Panabianco never did catch another pass in the second half. So, But uh, nonetheless, that record broken by 14 yards. Then passing yards, Jake Sisson just entered the, the, the record book for a uh, Ralph Wilson Stadium playoff record. The previous record for passing yards was 325 yards by uh, Laura Sella, Clarence, just a few years ago in 2010. That was 325. This is today, we have them at 402. That, that's, uh, I don't know if I call that a shatter, but that's a healthy record-breaking performance there. What's that, 77 yards uh, over top of Lucarella's uh, uh, number, 25% more roughly. And then total yards for a team, previous record, 546 yards, and uh, Jamestown here tonight at 609. So a team record and, and uh, a couple of individual records, passing yards and receiving yards and Panamianco, respectively. So, off to Rochester and the regional, but on Saturday night, it'll be the Red Raiders against Aquinas, the number one team in the state. So that one, uh, can't wait for it.